Hey y'all, I'm Heather Nixon. I am a boudoir photographer based out of Greenville, Texas, and I'm gonna give you three of my best tips to help you prepare for your boudoir session that you just booked. Girl, I got you, let's do this. First tip, prepare to arrive your shoot with a clean, dry, moisturized face and clean, dry hair. We don't wanna show up this theory, this theory of arriving with dirty hair because you think it creates more volume is totally wrong. The last thing you wanna do is, is have greasy ass hair in your photos. Wash your hair, dry your hair. That way the hairstylist that's gonna be there for your session is gonna be able to style your hair and put product in it. It's gonna look luxurious and clean and just beautiful. Next thing is of course that face, which we wanna you know wash that morning of moisturize so that when we get here and your makeup artist is here doing your makeup, she can apply that makeup and not feel like it's just soaking right into your skin because your skin is so dry. So moisturizer is super good. Clean dry hair, wash and moisturize that face. In here with those tight, tight jeans or the leggings that like suck you in, I personally love, but don't come walking up in here with those tight clothing, tight bra, tight underwear, all that stuff. Wear loose clothing the day of your session. I tell all my girls, literally don't come wearing bra and underwear. Do like some sweatpants and a t-shirt. A button up is always great too, because you can easily take it off after hair and makeup. Loose clothing is going to be helpful so that we don't have to worry about those lines that go down your legs as soon as we throw on that first outfit. And then my last tip, which I think is so, so important, is getting those nails done. Fingernails, toenails, all of it. Not just for the shoot, but also it's a day of pampering for you. Take that day for yourself, go get those nails done, and just enjoy a day at the spa for those nails. Do neutral colors if that's something you prefer. You can go big and long if that's something you wanna to do too. I always tell my girls to keep it simple. Designs are great, but for a boudoir session, you just wanna keep it simple. I like to do multiple colors on my nails, but for like a boudoir session, I would just do a, a solid color on all of my nails. All right, that's all the tips and tricks I got today. Leave your questions in the comments so that I can come back to them and make some more videos with all y'all's questions that you got about a boudoir session and what all goes into it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok because I'm on all three, but I'm on the YouTube train now.